Okay, here we are at the range with my AKM rifle. And what we're going to do first is we're going to do a 25 meter zero on this rifle. And it's something I think everybody should do when they very first get their AK. Uh, too many people buy AKs, they get out there and they just shoot at everything in sight. They really don't zero it in. People forget that an AK is actually a rifle. So treat it as such. Get it zeroed in, that way at least you know it's shooting correctly. And uh, after that, then you just kind of do whatever you want after that point. But here's my target. Right out there, sitting at about 27 yards, which is roughly 25 meters. I like using the uh, Visicolor targets just because they're easy to see the shots. Um, that's just my preference. They even have online, they even have the actual AK-47 sight-in targets if you want to use that. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'll uh, pop off a few rounds just to make sure I'm on paper. And uh, if anything, what I'll do is I'll pop off about five round group and then uh, hopefully it'll be on paper. That way I can show you where it's at and then I'll go ahead and uh, adjust my uh, rear RPK sight accordingly. Now the um, rifle itself here, when you're doing a 25 meter zero, make sure it's set on the one on your rear aperture or excuse me, your rear uh, elevation scale. Set it on one for 25 meters. Once you get it sighted in at 25 meters elevation and windage wise, then you're pretty much on. You can confirm your zero at 100, uh, 100 meters afterwards. If you choose, I highly recommend it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'll throw a few rounds down range real quick and we'll see where we're at. Also, another thing, a good idea when you're zeroing is to zero in the position that you may be shooting a lot from. Now, this doesn't mean necessarily shoot, you know, zero from the standing position because the standing position is really unstable. But I plan on doing a decent amount of shooting from the prone. So instead of zeroing from a bench off a table, I'm going to zero from the prone position. That's going to eliminate any inconsistencies that you may get when changing from a bench rest type position, a sitting position, to a prone position. I'll go ahead and show you that shot group. Pretty close. After putting that RPK sight on, I figured I might be off a little bit. Uh, quite a bit actually, but I'm pretty close. In fact, here, let's do this. My apologies, there's nobody else on the firing line here, so we'll just go ahead and walk up. That group right there tells me that I got to come down just a little bit and I got to come over to my right just a little bit. So I'm really, excuse me, I'm really close.
it's not the tightest 25 or excuse me uh it's not the tightest 25 meter grouping that you can get um i'm not too awful worried about that at the moment if i slowed down a little bit more i could get it a little bit tighter but i'll go ahead and make some changes real quick and your elevation is on your front sight so what i want to do is i want to move it up a little bit Moving the front sight up moves your barrel down. That's how it works. Moving this up will cause your barrel to go down and your shot group to go down a little bit. Now the cool thing is about having an RPGA uh, rear sight is I don't have to worry about doing my windage adjustments up here. I could if I wanted to, but I have windage right back here. So what I'm gonna do so I'm going to go ahead and click a couple clicks to the right here. There's one, two. And we'll see how that does. Again, I'm not too sure exactly what each click represents. So it's a little bit of trial and error. I've looked online and I haven't seen much talking about RPK sites. There's a uh, manual out there online, but it's all in Russian, and I really don't feel like translating Russian right now. So let's go ahead and throw five more down there and see what's changed. All right, I went ahead and slowed down on this group, paid a little more attention to my fundamentals, and I'll show you the difference. The first one was a little bit sloppy. There's my first group right up here, and now you can see I'll probably go one click over, and that should get me right about the uh right about where i need to be but that's a nice tight group at uh, 25 meters with the uh, ak that's about what it should look like sorry if this video is really boring i figured i'd just do it real quick uh, i'm not going to edit anything just for the sake of time what i'm going to do is I'm going to move my sights, my rear RPK sight, over just a little bit, probably one click, and uh, that should do it. That should put me dead on. We'll see how it goes. See how that goes.
Alright. Let's see how we did. <clears throat> here they are right here. It's looking pretty good. I'm aiming a little bit. I'm putting my front sight post right here. The top of it is about right here. So here's my last shots. I'm gonna go ahead and call that good. I probably could mess with it and fine tune it, but for now it's pretty good. Um, oh, by the way, check this out. Here's a treat for you guys. Hopefully you can see them. There they are. There's Montana Air National Guard right there. 120th Fighter Wing Vigilantes. Somebody once said on my channel that the Air Guard's a bunch of pussies. I disagree. But anyway. This is a nice little flyby. But all right. In a nutshell, this is what you need to do with your AK. Like I said, I probably could come over just a little bit more. And I might do that. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to bore you guys anymore. It's already running on 13 minutes. The key is, sight in your AK at 25 meters, which is about 27 yards. Take your time with it. Shoot from a stable position. Treat your AK like a rifle. Make sure you're doing everything you need to be doing with that, just like you would any other rifle. Side alignment, breathing, good posture, good solid fundamentals, good trigger squeeze, good follow through, all that good stuff. It's no difference. You look at this and people might say, oh, this is just a crazy little bullet sponge or um, not a bullet sponge, bullet hose. It's not true. It's a rifle. You got to treat it like a rifle. It's not as accurate as some of the other rifles, but as you can see, I'm one hole in groups at 25 meters. Um, and if you could do that with a rifle, 25 meters, it's definitely accurate enough to shoot farther ranges. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry it's getting a little bit long-winded, but there it is. My rifle is now pretty much sighted in. So there you go. Now, no matter what I do with this rifle, I can sit there and bump fire it, do whatever I want. At least I know, well, it's sighted in, and it's sighted in correctly. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay free, stay armed.